We're still at uh, Naval Group uh, Android site, uh, specializing in propulsion system. The French shipbuilders started using additive manufacturing processes for the manufacturing of some of its propulsion systems. To find out more is uh, Pierre Berg, Chief Technical Officer here at uh, Naval Group Android. Pierre, good morning. Good morning. Can you please tell us about additive manufacturing and uh, what Naval Group is using uh, for its manufacturing processes? We started uh, with research and development uh, in this process in 2016 and we, and we found that there's a lot of uh, possibilities uh, by uh, additive manufacturing and that's why we decided to invest in uh, production uh, facilities, in production cell for additive manufacturing. This one is probably one of the biggest in Europe. It's, it is a 20 meters by 8 meters and it can produce uh, parts up to 6 tons and 4 meters diameters, for example, propellers. So behind us is a so-called uh, WAM uh, process machine. Uh, WAM like uh, wire arc additive manufacturing. So uh, you have the support here where you put the parts that we, you will print and on top of there, you have the, the robot uh, where the, the wire is coming and the wire is layer by layer welded and to make, uh, by additive manufacturing, to compose and to make the components. What are those uh, parts? So those parts are also manufactured uh, via 3D printing. The process is somewhat different. It is called SEL, Selective Laser Melting, SLM, sorry selective laser melting and uh, here what we can see in fact is the possibilities of the 3D manufacturing process. For these components, here for example we have a heat exchanger with uh, the inlet channel and the outlet channel from the other side and you can really have a much much more compact design as the standard design. Uh, for example here the volume of this heat exchanger is reduced about one-fifth by comparison to the standard process. Here we have another component which is used to reduce the pressure inside the vessel to make some uh, probe. Uh, and the standard is a coiled up uh, pipe in a copper alloy. And the standard uh, part is about 30 centimeters. And here you can see the dimension of this one which is much more, more than seven centimeters. Here, all the creativity of the de designer can be used really to focus on the function instead of being uh, uh, cut by the, the process. One last question, Pierre. Today, on which programs are you using uh, additive manufacturing? So, we started first with uh, propellers uh, and we are currently manufacturing some components for submarine, for example, for the Barracuda submarine. And today, uh, for the new pro program, uh, a lot of components or a lot of parts will come with uh, this uh, new process.